find the hcf of 22 33 and 13 to find the hcf first we should do the prime factorization of each number separately that is c 22 33 13 ok next for this number the last digit is 2 2 is even so we take 2 here the first number 2 when do we get 2 in 2 table 2 1 2 the other number 2 when do we get 2 in 2 table 2 1 2 now here we have 11, 11 is a prime number, so 11 once 11. Now the other number is 33. Here each digit is 3. And most important, 3 is a prime number. So we directly take 3 here. The first number is 3, when do we get 3 in 3 table? 3 once 3. The other number 3, when do we get 3 in 3 table? 3 once 3. Now here we have 11, 11 is a prime number, so 11 once 11. Now the other number is 13, 13 is a prime number, so we take 13 once 13. So now our HCF is, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present over here and here. And also here, I repeat, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present in these three places, here, here and also here. Okay, now let us find the numbers which are present here and here and also here. St starting with the number 2, do we have 2 here? No, so no need to check in the other place. Next number 11. Do we have 11 here? Yes. So go to the next place here. Do we have 11 here? No. So no more numbers are left. That means we do not have any number present in all the three places. I repeat, no number is present in all the three places. Whenever you don't have any number present in all the three places, in these situations your HCF has to be 1. Okay. Whenever no number is present in all the three places, you should always take HCF to be 1. So this is our answer. Am I clear?